guys welcome back to my channel I hope you're all having a really really good day if you are new here please do subscribe I'd love for you to join my little YouTube family I'm gonna be posting two videos a week from now on and I'd hate for you to miss them for today I'm gonna to be doing a reacting to my old YouTube videos video which is a bit of a tongue twister yeah I've seen so many people do this video I just thought it would be a good idea for me to go back and watch a couple of my old videos and basically have a laugh at what I used to put out on the internet with you guys. Yeah, so that is what we're going to be doing today. First of all, I just want to say I started my channel in 2009, which is quite a long time ago. At the time of most of these videos, I would have been about 16, 17. So please bear that in mind. Without further ado, let's get into watching these videos. So the first video that I'm going to be reacting to is titled Whip My Hair Willow Smith Video Remix. Okay. Tiny bit of background about this video. It was made with the purpose of winning a competition. Basically, Willow Smith had this competition at the time that her song was really big and the winner would receive a cash prize. I can't remember how much it was. I think it was about a thousand dollars. So obviously like back then I was like, oh my God, I'm gonna win money because I didn't have a job and I thought, you know, I was basically gonna be a millionaire by winning this. I basically made an edit because that was what the rule said that you had to make a video edit to the song. Let's just watch the video because I know that this is probably one of the most embarrassing videos on my channel. Okay, I have no idea what I was wearing. Like, why was I wearing a tutu? Oh my gosh. Okay, the funniest part about this video is that I actually remember when I filmed it. It was like a Sunday morning and my whole family had gone to like my brother's football match and I moved every single bit of furniture out of my bedroom, like including my bed. And I also moved the dining room table like to the left so it'd be out of like the shot. And then I had to like make sure that everything was back in place before they got back home. So I had like limited time because I was so embarrassed. I have no idea what I was wearing. I was basically like doing every single dance I'd ever learned in my life and just hoping for the best and that it would look good in the edit. I don't know what the hell the colour filters are all about and like the spinning shots. Oh my gosh. Why was I wearing that? Oh, so I used to wear those um, bright green Dr. Martens like every single day. I don't know why. And the red ones. They were kind of like a trademark, but now I'm looking at them and I'm just like, oh my gosh. Okay, so basically like this, this video is super embarrassing. I didn't even win the cash prize. I don't know if anybody did, but they basically got in contact with me and Willow Smith was opening for Justin Bieber at the time and they basically asked me if I wanted to have free tickets to the show and meet her backstage. So I guess the video wasn't for nothing because I did get to meet her and I did get free tickets to the show. At the same time, like it's such an embarrassing video. At least I got something out of it. Okay, next video I'm going to look at is called Whip My Hair with three R's because one wasn't enough. This is like a dance video, but I think I filmed this on my webcam. I really love this song. It was like one of my favourite songs at the time, like no joke. Okay, I don't know why I was wearing like really baggy tracksuit buttons. <laughs> I think this was like a time when I thought it was really cool and like if you were like a hip hop dancer then you had to wear like baggy clothes and like a little crop top and that was clearly the phase. I remember like learning this dance as well. I think this was like one of the dances that her actual dancers did and I used to like really like them and I would watch their videos and like copy it. But the best part is that I'm actually taking it so seriously and I'm in my bedroom. And that is still my bedroom now, by the way, like I have the mirrored walls, so it's good for dancing, but I don't think I'd ever make a video now where I dance in front of my mirrors like this seriously and put it on YouTube. The next video I'm going to react to is the first ever video that I put out on my channel, and this was me dancing to Somebody to Love by Justin Bieber, and honestly, like, this is the most popular video on my channel, so. The reason being is that I used to, like, send this video to every single Justin Bieber fan, like, on the planet, and then eventually Justin Bieber saw it and I got to meet him. Let's just press play and have a little look. So again, I love that like the quality is so bad and it doesn't fit the screen, but this was like cameras back in the day. Also that tumble that I did, like I would not do that now because I used to be like fearless, I swear. Like I wouldn't like not even care that the floor is like really hard. When I filmed this video, like bear in mind it was the first like dance video and it's because Justin Bieber asked for like people to dance to his song and I was like, oh, he'll see it if I do it. 
and I remember I made my mum like come with me and this was actually filmed in the old place that she used to work because she used to work in like a nursery so I took her and she helped me film this but I hadn't taken a dance class in about two years and the gymnastics training that I was having at that time is clearly showing because every other move is a trick there's not much to say about this it's not embarrassing it's just like really old I don't know what I was wearing that was my favorite top at the time it's just like an old video I guess like it's good to see that my videos have evolved and become better quality. The next video I am going to react to is titled Filming for Street Dance 2 3D in Trafalgar Square with George Sampson and Flawless. George Sampson and Flawless were both on Britain's Got Talent quite a long time ago and I remember George Sampson won it. I can't remember the year but I was like one of his biggest fans because he was such a good dancer and then like a couple years later this happened but looking back now like it's funny that like when you see like that you found god over somebody and then you like work with them let's play this video because i don't actually know like what i filmed i was on a movie set and i wouldn't have been allowed to film the first thing i'm gonna say is what was i wearing like why do i look like a traffic light like i'm wearing it's literally like i woke up in the morning and like picked out all my fluorescent clothes and just like put them on and thought that, that would be a good idea I feel like the thought process was maybe because like I knew that I was going to be filming for a movie and I kind of thought like if I wear bright clothes I'd be seen but honestly like that's my friend Imogen she's uh, definitely not wearing fluorescent clothes so it wasn't part of the dress code we always used to do handstands like wherever we went like honestly like don't ask me why like we just always do handstands okay I like that we've got like a little picture did anybody else used to do that where like they'd make uh, YouTube videos like back in the day and they'd just put like a picture montage because I feel like I did that quite a lot like I was a big fan of picture montages even though they were not a video so they really didn't belong on YouTube. Next up we have Who's That Chick by Rihanna class at Pineapple Dance Studios and I remember this was like the first class I ever took at Pineapple um, which is like a professional dance studio in London. I think I was about 17 at the time and it was the first time I'd been like with a friend. I took a class, I feel like this was like a hip hop class, but let's watch. I like the shakiness of the camera and the amazing H2 quality. It was probably so shaky because we were like not supposed to be in there. Like you have to pay like quite a lot of money to rent these studios and we just like snuck in. I love the outfit, it's very colour coordinated. But it's just funny when I look back, I'm like I would never wear stuff like that now. Like I feel like I was so influenced by like baggy clothes and like the film Honey and like... Ugh, I don't know what that bit at the end was, it was like so unnecessary. <laughs> funny to see like how much like my dance videos have evolved and as well like how much I've improved as a dancer. I feel like that's why I love looking back at like old videos sometimes because you see how much you've improved which is obviously a good thing. Okay, next up we have the Justin Bieber proper era. I went to the premiere of his film Never Say Never. I actually won tickets to this premiere and for some reason I was like I'm gonna make a video of my experience. Let's just watch the video. I don't even know what this is gonna be like. It's so blurry. That's the worst part. Oh pictures. Love a good picture. I feel like you can't even see like what's going on in these clips. Like it's the worst filming ever. Why is it so blurry? Oh, that was definitely like filmed off the screen. Like Justin wasn't there. And I just thought I'd add text to like make it seem like he was right in front of me. As you do. Okay, and this is the part where like everybody that watched this video probably went deaf because um, Justin and like his team basically came into the cinema and they introduced the film and everybody basically lost their beep. My 17 year old self was like freaking out, like properly freaking out because Justin Bieber was in the cinema. I don't know why I put this in the video because all you can see is like a black screen. Do you remember back in the day where you would film videos on your webcam with like the filters and like the chipmunk voice and stuff like that because I used to love doing that. But yeah we'd uh, come back from the cinema and we were basically like really hyper. I used to wear like really heavy black makeup like all around my eyes and it just didn't look good and I don't know why I wore it. And of course no Yasmin video is complete without like a really cringy dance and like song at the end of it clearly. Oh my god that is so embarrassing. This isn't even entertaining though, like I don't know why I put this up. 
And a nice quote at the end from me, obviously. Oh, promo, hashtag ad, hashtag not really, hashtag I thought I was cool, but I wasn't. The last video that I'm gonna show you kind of follows on from that premiere video because it's also Justin Bieber related. And when I tell you I'm like really embarrassed to show you this, I am really embarrassed to show you this. I can't believe I did this. So the video is titled Justin Bieber Album Launch Party Thanks to Comeround.com. A little bit of background, Comeround.com was like a party uh, site where you could basically buy like props for your party that were like themed. And in this case, it was obviously a Justin Bieber theme. The reason being is there was a competition that if you hosted this party with their props, they had tickets to a Justin Bieber meet and greet where you could meet him. Obviously me being the fangirl that I was at the time and the extra AF person that I was at the time, I had to order this party set from them. And I said to my mum, like, I really want to throw this party because if I do, then I can meet Justin Bieber and obviously like, I hadn't already met him twice at the time. I had, but we're not gonna talk about that. Every time he was in London, basically, I felt like it was my duty that I had to meet him some way. So I basically like had all this party stuff and the party had to be thrown on a specific day. So I had in my mind that I was gonna do this and then I kind of realized that I was 17 years old and if I hosted a Justin Bieber themed party and invited all my 17 year old friends, I would probably be bullied for the rest of my life. I actually begged my mom to like ask her best friend if like, we could have the party at her house with her daughter and all of her daughter's friends because her daughter was about like nine years old at the time so it was definitely more fitting and more for their age group. Somehow they agreed to it and I brought a couple of my friends too and we made a video. Yeah, the, I remember actually the competition was like you had to take a picture with like all the party stuff and like put it on Facebook and then whoever got the most likes would win the prize. But me being extra again had to make a video as well as put the picture on Facebook. And let's just play the video because I'm I'm embarrassed that I even did this. So yeah, like you can see it was like a proper party. Like loads of kids and everything. Yeah, I brought um I brought like my friends from gymnastics, so you can see that like all we do is basically gymnastics. Like I feel sorry for the other kids that are there because they're just like standing there doing nothing. Like they thought they were coming for like a fun party, but no, they were really coming for a performance from me and my friends, clearly. Why are we doing handstands? Why are every single video back in the day was just me doing a handstand and I know I still do that in some of my videos, but like it was too much back in the day. Okay, we, we just took it to the next level. Now we're just showing off for no reason. I was actually 17 years old at this point. Like, why did I think that like having a Justin Bieber party was a good idea? Okay, we also had a sing along to Baby as you do, you know, at Justin Bieber parties. This is so embarrassing. I hosted a party for nine year olds. Oh, and by the way, Never did I tell any of my friends that it was my idea or like anybody ever did I tell that it was my idea. I pretended that this was like the little girl's idea and that I was just going to help out when realistically it was my party and my idea and I'd ordered all the stuff and I just wanted to win the competition. Yeah, I bet you're all wondering if I did win the competition or not. I didn't get the most Facebook likes, which was so annoying, but I did actually end up sneaking into the meet and greet. So, you know, there's that. If you want to meet your favorite artist and you don't win the competition to get tickets, just sneak in. That's like a whole nother story when I snuck in to meet Justin Bieber. I can't believe I just told you all that story because I'm actually ashamed that I was that much of a Justin Bieber fan. By the way, I do still love Justin Bieber. I'm just like, like a low key fan now. So yeah, that is a couple of my old embarrassing videos and I definitely have like way more where they came from. So if you do want me to react to those, let's get this video to 200 likes and I will definitely do a part two. So please let me know any video suggestions that you have because I am trying to upload as much as I can at the minute and I would love to know what videos you guys want to see. Please leave me a like and comment down below any questions you might have and subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos and I will see you in my next video. Bye!